Hi, I'm Spencer Schrader, and I'm a student as well as a flight instructor for the UAS program here at Kansas State Polytechnic. Unmanned aircraft, or drones, are expected to be a popular gift this upcoming holiday season, and we believe that flight safety is extremely important. So here are our top five tips for drone safety. Number one, be sure to register your unmanned aircraft prior to flying. The FAA requires drones weighing between half a pound up to 55 pounds to be registered, even those purchased for recreational flying only. This costs $5, takes 10 minutes, and could save you hundreds of dollars in fines. To register your unmanned aircraft, visit www.registermyuas.faa.gov. Number two, ensure that your aircraft's batteries are fully charged before flying. This will ensure that you have the longest flights possible. Also, do not drain your aircraft's battery below 20%. Unmanned aircraft carry a lithium polymer battery, or a LiPo, which is a hazardous material. Flying below 20% could increase the volatility of that battery and cause it to become a fire hazard. Avoid an air-to-air -air collision by following step number three. Never fly within five miles of an airport unless you have notified both the control tower as well as the airport manager prior to flight. Control towers are unable to see drones on their radar, so it is imperative that you notify them of your location, the time at which you will be flying, as well as the altitude at which you'll be flying prior to flight. Here at Kansas State Polytechnic, our campus sits on an active airport, so without prior approval, we're able to fly in our one-of-a-kind netted pavilion. Let's go take a look. Here at the Smoky Hills Flying Pavilion, it's about the size of a football field and 50 feet tall. Because it's enclosed, we're able to fly next to the runway and airport, and with the fabricated netting, we're able to experience environmental factors such as wind while still maintaining our GPS signal that the unmanned aircraft utilize. Our flying pavilion is perfect for tip number four. Always maintain visual contact with your aircraft. In other words, never fly beyond what you can see. This is an FAA requirement. If you are flying outside of your visual range and there is a manned aircraft or an object in your drone's flight path, you could endanger those in the air as well as on the ground. And the final drone safety tip from Kansas State Polytechnic's UAS program is always remove the propellers while applying power to the aircraft while you're indoors. There may be times when you are working on the aircraft or are updating the software on the aircraft while you are indoors. If you were to accidentally bump the throttle on the controller or the transmitter, this may cause the propellers to begin spinning, which may put yourself as well as those in the room with you at risk of serious injury. So let's review. Make sure you register your aircraft with the FAA before flying it. Fully charge batteries before flying and never allow the batteries to go below 20%. Do not fly within five miles of an airport unless you have notified the control tower and airport manager. Do not fly your drone beyond being able to see it. And finally, keep the propellers off of your aircraft if you're going to be working on it indoors and powering it on. To learn more about the UAS program here on Kansas State's Polytechnic campus, visit the website below. From everyone here at K-State Polytechnic, happy flying. <laughs>